Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. I am pleased to bring you another Build the Enterprise D from Fan Home. I am working on pack number five. Now, if you haven't done so already, head over to Fan Home and subscribe to this build today. I put a direct link down below. You can start right from the very beginning at stage one, pack one. Now, without further ado, let's get started. And welcome back to another installment of Build the Enterprise D by Fan Home. I am working on pack five or issue number five, stages 15 through 18. I'll be working on the upper skeletal frames, the cobra neck a little bit, and we work on our first upper lighted panel for the uh, upper saucer area. And I'm super excited to get started on that. So let's look through the magazine just here real quick. As you know, the, the assembly guides and parts lists come up first. And then we get into the, the real meat of the magazine, which are the articles. And they highlight each episode. So we're still on, ep on uh, season one, episode 13, Data Lore. Very cool there. And then... Season 1, Episode 14, Angel 1. Season 1, Episode 15. And uh, well, you can see it for yourself, right? I wouldn't even know how to name that. Bi binary numbers, <laughs> I guess. I'm probably totally wrong there. Season 1, Episode 16, Too Short a Season. Season 1, Episode 17, When the Bow Breaks. And Season 1, Episode 18, Home Soil. And lastly, Season 1, Episode 19, Coming of Age. Let's go ahead and look at the parts next. Here is stage 15 and we get some frame supports and the Cobra Neck uh, skeletal frame. Stage 16 upper saucer skeletal frame. Stage 17 again upper saucer skeletal frame and the battle bridge. And stage 18, upper saucer panel and the cobra neck panel itself also. Next, I also received this wonderful lithograph that was uh, free with my subscription. Now, your, your gifts can vary, but this is what I received here. As you can see, it highlights all the different areas of the Enterprise D. It's wonderful, and I can't wait to get a frame for it and hang it in my new studio that I am in the process of uh, preparing. So there you go. That's great. Now let's go ahead and get started with the build. And to begin with, I'll be working on stage 15. Here's the support braces for the skeletal frame and the skeletal frame for the cobra neck. This stage, I'll assemble some of those supports. We've done this before, very easy to do. There's the parts that came with stage 15. Let's take these out and get a closer look. And here's the parts. I'm going to go ahead and keep the skeletal frame for the cobra neck in the blister pack here just to protect it because we're not going to do anything with it in this stage. We did receive some more support pieces for the skeletal frame, the upper part of the skeletal frame, and BM screws. And I went ahead and retrieved my frame that I kept in a safe place until this next stage. But uh, as you can see here, 
almost completed with it here and you can see all the supports that are installed on that now we're going to be working on this side here so we'll get a closer look here and we'll put the more supports on this part and go ahead and turn it over this right here will go right there and right above it this will go right there and tighten down the last screw here I want to tighten it down all the way and I did lubricate the screw with 3-in-1 oil and that's how that looks there I'm using the larger screwdriver for this which is the PH1 screwdriver by Weira and you can find those in my store next we'll go ahead and install the next panel and the last one here and it's tight and that's how that looks there looks great now we're going to do the same thing on the other side and the last one and that's nice and tight there that's what that looks like there now let's do the bigger one in front of it here and there we go both are in that completes stage 15 here's the parts for stage 16 more upper skeletal frames and a couple of supports and here's the assembly put the frame on and put those two smaller supports to hold it together next we install the shuttle bay doors we need to move the wires out of the way here and then slide in the shuttle bay doors a certain way so they snap in and they won't uh, affect the wiring there you go and here's the parts let's get a closer look Here's a close-up of those parts. Uh, two plastic shuttle bay doors. We'll be putting those on here in a little bit. And the upper skeletal frame. Very nice there. BP and BM screws. Okay, bring over the skeletal frame. We'll be working on this side here. You can see we already have the supports in place. So this is just a matter of screwing it down and it's going to screw down just like that if you can see okay and then the other end will look like that from above four BM screws go into this and they're all tight and that's what that frame looks like Now let's put in those shuttle bay doors. Here's the Cobra neck and the shuttle bay doors, a long one and a short one. Go ahead and turn this over and they want you to move the light wires out of the way. So you want to bend them up out of the way, these ones on top here. And then the best way to do this would be to take your shuttle bay and go under the wire first. Okay. And then you want to try to snap it down in there. where it's lined up we'll check the other side and that's how it should look on the other side which looks good and we'll put our BP screw into that 
and I'm using a smaller screwdriver, the PHO screwdriver for this. And just till it's tight, and that's good there. Don't need to over tighten it. Same thing on the other side. We're going to take and slide it under where the wires are. And now it's in. Make sure it's lined up like it should be. And that looks good. Check the other side. And that's what they look like. It looks great. And that completes stage 16. Let's head over and do stage 17. Here's parts for stage 17. More upper skeletal frames, some supports, and the battle bridge. The assembly for stage 17. We'll start on the battle bridge here first and install our last portion of the upper skeletal frame. And looks like we add a couple small supports to that. Let's look at the parts. Here's the parts for 17. Let's get a closer look. And here are those parts. This is the last section of our upper skeletal frames. A couple of supports for that. The battle bridge, which is very cool there. Very nicely painted and detailed. And you can see it is magnetized. Very cool. And BM screws. And this simply just snaps in on the top there. There we go. And if you wanted to put a little super glue on this, you could, but that's the battle bridge. Very cool. We'll put that aside. Bring over the upper frame here, and this is our last section here. It's going to go down just like that onto those supports. Four BM screws go into that. And next, we're going to mate these two together here up front, and our support for that is going to go underneath and get mounted from underneath. And that's good there. And that's what that piece looks like there, mating those two together. Now we're going to put on our next piece, and that's going to go on the back side here, on that area. So we'll mount those the same way with the BM screws, and that's good there. That looks good. Both supports are in. And that completes stage 17. Wow, it's all complete there. Very nice. Now let's head over and do the final stage for this pack, stage 18. And here's the parts. Our first deck panel, we're going to light up, install. Wiring for the LED lights, the battle section. This begins our light up deck panel. The very first one we're going to do. That's what it looks like. We'll put our reflectors in place. Glue in the LED lights. Give it a test. And here's parts for 18. And we're not really going to work on the battle section just yet. Let's get a closer look. Go ahead and open up the blister pack for this. I want to leave this in the blister pack for now, the battle section, but here's our LED lights. We're going to use those and our, our first uh, bridge section with reflectors. And made of metal, very nicely painted. And of course, you know what the reflectors look like. 
And here's the battle section. Very nice there, nicely painted. Two magnets for the battle bridge. That's what that looks like on that side. Go ahead and bring over the battle bridge so you can see what happens there. Put that in and it just locks in and that's what that looks like. Okay. And screws. And there's the screws. DM screws. Let's get started. And here's our windows. Of course we have the clear ones and we have the blacked out ones. And we have to cut these off and clean them up with a sanding sponge or a sanding stick. And getting the last ones off here. You definitely want to have a really good set of sprue cutters or side cutters and I highly recommend you invest into a good pair of these. They aren't very expensive at all. I wouldn't spend more than $35 for a pair. But there you go. So for putting in the blackout windows, I carefully apply the Tulip Slick around the edges. Then I put the blackout window on it. I support the panel so it's not touching my workbench. And then I press it in place just like that. And that's the Tulip Slick that I use. And there's all the windows in place. Now we'll go ahead and put the reflectors on it. And here's the first reflector with the LEDs already installed. On the narrow end I put the yellow green wire and the lower part is the red and black wire. Same with the other side. The narrower top part is with the yellow and green and the bottom is with the black and red. Now we'll insert these on the panel. Bring over the panel here, bring over the reflector panel, and that's going to go down just like that. Four BM screws will go into this. And I lubricated the screw. And you'll note that that screw does have a flange. I'll go ahead and install the other side and I'll be right back. And the last one in. Great. That's how that looks there. Turn it over. And that's what it looks like. If you have any extra tulip slip coming through, you can just uh, scrape it off. It'll come off really easy. But there we go. Let's go ahead and do a light test for this. And there you go. Looks great. And that's all I do for stage 18. Stay tuned for pack 6. It's really fantastic to build this and I'm glad I'm finally getting started on it. I'll be right back. And that completes pack five. So if you would like to get this for yourself, head over to Fan Home and subscribe to the Enterprise D today. It's fantastic and I'm so glad that they brought it back. And you can start all the way from issue one if you like. But it's fantastic. We already have everything done on the upper saucer, upper skeletal frame area. We worked on our first light panel for the top of this thing and the cobra neck and everything is just fantastic we got a few extra parts left over but that's fine so if you like my content please subscribe to my channel 
and smash that like button. I appreciate everybody who does subscribe to my channel and watches all my videos. So I hope my videos are helpful to you and figuring out how to build this spacecraft, this USS Enterprise D, the best way possible. With that, happy modeling everybody and happy Star Trek. Take care.